Even if you didn't watch the Oscars on Sunday, you've probably heard about the slap. Many celebrities have shared their reactions to the film, regardless of whether they saw it in person. Will Smith slap presenter Chris Rock on stage only minutes before winning the Best Actor Oscar for his part in Kane Richard after the comedian made a joke about his wife Jada Pinkett Smith's shaved head? Pinkett Smith has come up about her alopecia, an autoimmune disorder that causes hair loss. When Smith returned to his seat, Lupita Nyong'o, who was sitting next to him, was seen on camera warning Rock to get my wife's name out of your freaking mouth. Her reaction, like that of many others, was a mix of surprise and disbelief. The surprised reactions of Nicole Kidman and Serena Williams were also captured on video. Smith earned the award for his portrayal of tennis star Serena Williams' father, Richard Williams, who also coached her sister, Venus. On her Instagram story, the superstar shared a video of her stunned reaction. She claimed she needed to sit and put her drink down in another narrative, making a puzzled expression. After the altercation at the ceremony, Tyler Perry, Denzel Washington, and Bradley Cooper were all spotted chatting to Smith. Cooper appears to be soothing Smith in one photo. Many viewers at home rushed to Twitter to express their excitement. I just saw Will Smith get slapped. Is there a late night show I could borrow for tomorrow? Conan O'Brien, a comedian and former late night host, took to Twitter. And as for that incident, I'm still digesting it. Jody Turner Smith, an actress and model, wrote, I have secondhand embarrassment for all involved. And that's how we do it. Jaden Smith, the couple's son, tweeted. However, it's unclear if the tweet is related to the slap. Smith's actions meant the world to Tiffany Haddish. I was moved when I witnessed a black man standing up for his wife. Haddish told People magazine, that meant so much to me. As a woman who has been unprotected, someone telling you, keep my wife's name out of your lips, leave my wife alone is what your spouse is supposed to do, right? I'll look after you. While the public may not appreciate how it went down, Haddish claimed it was the most beautiful thing she had ever witnessed because it made me feel that there are still men out there who love and care about their wives, she said. Smith might have killed, according to Jenna Pato, in a since-deleted tweet, Rock, that's uncontrollable fury and violence. Many people chastised the director for speaking out on the subject. At the Vanity Fair after party, Actor La Keith Stanfield, who was at the awards show, was asked about the incident. He told Variety, I don't know, it was wild. It was strange. It was a strange experience. When Rock delivered the remark that inspired Smith to leave his seat and go on stage, he was presenting the award for Best Documentary. After the slap, Questlove walked the stage and accepted the award for his film Summer of Soul. When asked about the atmosphere in the room as he prepared to deliver his acceptance speech, the singer and director responded, I'm not talking about that. This is about the Harlem Cultural Festival, alluding to the documentary. When Amy Schumer, one of the show's hosts, returned to the stage after the incident, she joked, I've been getting out of that Spider-Man suit. Is there anything I'm missing? In here, there's a different vibe. In an Instagram post on Tuesday, Schumer expressed her feelings on the encounter, stating that she was still upset and terrified. She wrote, I love my pal, Chris Rock, and believe he handled it like a pro. Stayed up there and presented an Oscar to his pal, Questlove. And it was all really upsetting. I'm still shocked, surprised, and heartbroken because Will Smith is in so much suffering. I'm waiting for this awful feeling to go away from what we all witnessed. Schumer added of herself and my co-hosts, Regina Hall and Wanda Sykes. On Wednesday, Sykes discussed the incident with Ella DeGeneres, saying she didn't see the actual slap but did see Smith yelling at Rock from his seat. I was just thinking to myself, is this really happening? On The Ellen Show, Sykes remarked, I just felt so bad for my friend Chris. It was revolting. It was utterly revolting. I was physically sick. It has left me a little traumatized. DeGeneres admitted to being traumatized as well. Sykes also stated that she did not expect Smith to stay and accept his Best Actor award, but he did. If you assault someone, You'll be hauled out of the building, and that'll be the end of it. But I thought it was disgusting that they allowed him to continue. When Smith returned to the stage after winning an award, he apologized to the Academy and his fellow candidates, but he did not name Rock. Richard Williams, he added, was a ferocious defender of his family. According to Variety executive editor Raman Saturday, who shared a video on Twitter, he was spotted clutching his statue and dancing to his 1998 song Getting Jiggy With It during the Vanity Fair after party. Michael Bay says, I've worked with him, he's not that guy, the bad boys director said of Smith, 
admitting that he initially mistook the slap for a bit. That's the first time I've ever seen him lose his cool like that. I believed it was staged because I saw Ol' Smirk, and I've been on set when he's screwing with people and messing with them. They called Smith's behavior wrong, but added that there are more pressing issues in the world that need to be addressed. However, that is all everybody is talking about, he continued. I don't give a damn. Hollywood has a tendency to be quite self-absorbed. In Ukraine, babies are being blown up right now. That's something we should be discussing. Rachel Zegler I feel like it's none of my business, the West Side Story actress told Extra when asked about the Oscars' turmoil on the red carpet at the 2022 Grammys. Bill Maver The first episode of HBO's Real Time with Bill Maver aired on April 1st. Bill, a host, reaction to the smack was addressed by Maver. To Will Smith, Maver added, Be strong, and I've got your back. April Fool's Day, you're a dork, says the narrator. Maver went on to say that he couldn't feel sorry for Pinkett Smith. Comparing a lady to Demi Moore at her most beautiful isn't the worst insult I've ever heard. He went on to say, Alopecia is not leukemia. Bethany Frankel At the Academy, you have a presenter working for you. They are employed by you. They slap someone, hit someone, and touch someone. On a Tuesday, March 29, episode of her Just Be Podcast, the Real Housewives of New York City alum remarked, you had the individual removed. You present their reward to them, separately. Oh, oh, I know you just hit someone presenting, but now we're going to give you an award. It's not like that. It's awkward at best, Frankel continued. I didn't get to see the entire show, but from what I've heard, that's exactly what happened. I can't emphasize enough how you can't touch another individual. It sets a poor example for your children. It sets a horrible example for the United States. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar says, Will Smith inflicted a lot more harm than only to Rock's face when he raced onto the Oscars stage to attack Chris Rock for making a joke about his wife's short hair, the NBA icon wrote in a Substack article on Monday, March 28. He condoned violence, devalued women, ridiculed the entertainment business, and reinforced prejudices about the black community with a single petulant blow. I don't want to see Smith penalized or isolated because of this one, albeit major, mistake, he concluded. I just want this to serve as a warning to others to avoid romanticizing or glorifying terrible behavior. And I want Smith to be the man who truly defends others by acknowledging his wrongdoings. Daniel Radcliffe During his interview on Good Morning Britain on Thursday, March 31, Radcliffe declined to comment on the subject. I'm just so dramatically weary of hearing people's thoughts about it. The Harry Potter star explained that I simply don't want to have another perspective added to it. When you're going on about anything as a kid, you're never quite sure if the joke's with you or you're the butt of the joke," he added. You're never quite sure if the joke's with you or you're the butt of the joke. So you are in a state of mind where you're thinking, I'll just keep smiling and laughing and hopefully, it'll finish soon. Sheryl Underwood is a well-known singer and actress who also reacted to the incident. In April 2022, Underwood remarked on the talk, I'm going to say this as a comic. I'm frightened to get on a stage now. Because I'm on my third show and everyone's drunk. Do you think you can now get up and slap me if you don't like my joke? Amanda Seyfried is a well-known actress who had something to say about the incident too. On Wednesday, March 30, the dropout star slung shade at both Smith and the Academy by posting a photo of the actor dancing with his trophy at the Vanity Fair Oscar celebration. I'm also quite sure the Academy didn't tell him to frick off before he won. Seyfried said on Instagram. That's all for today. See you next time with a lot more. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.